Hey students, I'm here to give you some helpful hints if you are struggling a little bit with the big ideas assignment for lesson 1.1. So there are several problems towards the beginning of the assignment where you are just evaluating an expression that has an absolute value symbol in it. So we know that absolute value is the distance from zero. So for example, if we had the absolute value of negative 12, the distance from zero is 12 spaces. If we have the absolute value of eight, the distance from zero is eight spaces. Sometimes people like to think of this as just taking off the sign, whether it's positive or negative, it's now positive because we're just talking about distance, not direction. Then there are several problems where you need to order numbers and say which one is the larger of the two numbers and use the less than, greater than, or equal symbol. What I would do for each of these is to evaluate the expression if it does contain an absolute value symbol. So three, there's nothing we could do to further um, evaluate that, but the absolute value of negative four, we could think of that as four. So three is less than four. Now there are several problems at different points in the assignment that ask you to think of real world situations and um, whether we're talking about positive or negative integers. So for example, when you're thinking about savings, they use the terms deposit and withdrawal. If you deposit money into your account, you are putting money in. That would be a positive amount. If you are withdrawing money from your account, you are taking it out. So that would be a negative integer. If you're talking about an elevator or stairs, going up would be positive, going down would be negative. If you're talking about sea level, anything you have that's below sea level would be a negative integer. Anything that's above sea level would be a positive integer. And there was a mini golf example too where you're talking about whether you are above par or below par. So above par would be a positive integer below par would be a negative integer. Uh, the tricky thing with that is that the lower the number, the better. Um, we want a low score in golf, so a negative integer would actually be better than getting a positive integer. All right, then we have several problems where you are ordering the numbers from least to greatest. And what I would do here is the same thing we did up here. If you have a number that has an absolute value symbol, you want to evaluate that. So instead of absolute value of negative 10, I would just think of that as 10. Instead of the absolute value of 16, I would just think of that as 16. Now we have just integers. To write them from least to greatest, you're gonna put the most negative ones first on the left. So in this case, I'd have negative 26 then negative two, those are all my negative numbers, so now I'm gonna go with the positive ones. I have positive nine, and then positive 10, and then positive 16. And then if I want, I could rewrite these um, numbers that had absolute values as they were written, so this was really the absolute value of 16, and this 10 was actually the absolute value of negative 10. Okay, so now my numbers are written in order from least to greatest. And then last, there's a section that has some absolute value expressions that are a little bit more complicated because some of them have the negative sign on the outside of the absolute value symbols. So when we look at these first two, absolute value of seven and absolute value of negative seven, those are the same number. Those are the same distance from zero. Seven and negative seven are both seven spaces from zero. So both of these are equal to seven. These bottom two, um, it doesn't really matter what I have inside the absolute value symbol because I saw up here that the absolute value of seven and the absolute value of negative seven are exactly the same. If I put a negative sign on the outside of that, that means after I evaluate the absolute value, then I'm also making it negative. So both of these are equal to negative seven. All right, I hope that helps. Good luck on your assignment.